We are at El Toro High School. Tony Fair, really famous. No much more I can tell you about that. I got second try. First one's just gonna feel out. He's gonna stomp on it. Second one, he's rolling away. Right into my arms. I just need a stick, that's it. As soon as I stick it, I'm out of here, dude. Rolling away. No questions. We're out of here. Not good. Come down and just, yes, you know, obliviate, you know. Okay, that one felt big. Like I was just coming down, like, what? I should flip it slow, son. Flipping right. Here, Chris. I don't think I could try anymore today. Honestly. It would just dig my hip into the ground every time. I just remember having like that big of like a rash. It was a painful battle. At the time, it wasn't too crazy. It was just like, all right, like I did what I could do for today and now I'll come back and try to fight it again. I'm calling this one. This is out. Straight up. I could just like barely feel that and it feels kind of like, like when it was cold, that's how it feels. I just shot so gnarly, yeah. Ah! Ah! Ah!
happened today, guys? That over rotation was because of the truck. Don't still to this day know what happened. He landed it and he was rolling away and then he just did, like pivoted. And I was like, what? What? Wait, whoa. whoa. Although the video footage doesn't show me rolling away, like in my mind, I know I was, had the board not malfunctioned, you know what I mean? Granted, I can't control whether that happens or not, but. I had one complete, stuck it, bent the truck so bad, I, the flip wouldn't work anymore. You know, like your board has to be level, right? Otherwise your muscle memory is gonna like be off a little or something. And so, bent one truck, grabbed another complete, bent another truck. I broke another truck. And I was like, all right, I got two good trucks still. Put those two on a third board. And that was when that rollaway happened. And I didn't realize that those had bent because I thought I just like, I was like spinning out and lost balance on my own. It wasn't until I went and tried like two more after that and the board was flipping so crazy that I looked down again and I was like, ah, it's, my truck's broke. Like not even bent anymore. It's like literally almost touching the board. I was like, well, I've got no more sets of trucks now, so. That would have shut El Toro down. I don't think that counts. I mean, he did land and roll and then step off. So I, I don't know what it looks like. Do I think he's capable of doing it? I do. I don't know, I guess like, as much as I don't count it in the real world, like in my head, I know I did it, you know what I mean? It's kind of something I just always held a little bit of resent towards, never wanted to go back. I feel like the mental battle was won that day, and I think that's what's always held me from coming back, is that like, I wouldn't be doing it for myself if I came back and did it. You got the feeling, you in got the feeling. I've conquered the battle, yes. Like I know I can do it. In a sense, it's like, well, the only reason I'd be doing it is to put it on footage for other people, which is like, Still as doable as it was back then. You think Davis is the same or bigger? I say it's probably about the same. If they are different, it's not extremely noticeable. Honestly, if I came back, I don't know if I would try a tray flip again though. I have like other tricks that I can travel well with and probably could do easier. What tricks? Right now.